What's up with you then? Nothing. I'm happy enough. Well, I wish you'd pass the message on to your face. Oh, I can't help it. It's Monday mornings. Me and Monday mornings aren't on speaking terms. It's the same for everybody, you know, the whole world over. Nobody's excused Monday mornings, not even Dusty Springfield. Oh, I've noticed <laughs> Dusty Springfield clocking in or straightening the counter or taking back all that rubbish people bought on Saturday. Hey up, she's on the warpath. <laughs> Miss Peroxide Blonde, 1908. <laughs> the staff manageress we love and cherish. The old bat. Good. <laughs> Just in the mood for her. Whoops, she'll hear you, Josie. And if she says it was never like this on Sucky Hall Street, I'll wrap a poplin round her tinted edge. <laughs> <laughs> Come along, girls. Nine o'clock. The magic hour. Yes, Miss Sinclair. Yeah. This is no time to be discussing your boyfriends. However disgusting they may be, no, no Miss Sinclair. <laughs> now we'll have this display nice and high. Miss Foster is late again, I notice. Yes, Miss Sinclair. Stuff. It was never like this in Socky Hall Street. <laughs> <laughs> when she deigns to arrive, would you tell her she's on fast lunch? Certainly, Miss Sinclair, if you say so. <laughs> now, don't you try and soft suit me, young lady. If there's one thing I can't abide, it's toadying to your superiors. Oh, good morning, Mr. Powerbolt. <laughs> How are you this morning? There's nothing wrong, is there? If you mean what am I doing here before half past nine, why don't you say so? Far be it from me to suggest. Quite. Has Mr. Swindley arrived yet? Well, not as far Yes as or I... no. No. We'll send him up when he does arrive. And that display is three miles too high. Oh, um, exactly my words. Uh, Miss Plummer, that display wants luring. Did you hear that? He's coming today, the new assistant manager. I wonder if he'll last as long as the last one. The last one? <laughs> well, he was the record holder, you know. He was here nearly a fortnight. <laughs> well, put the starboard up. Oh, that's right. Left hand down the beat. You're doing well there. I <laughs> don't collapse on me in the last week. <laughs> Drop anchor. Got what? Anchor. <laughs> oh, I don't know. That porter's never here when he's wanted, is he? <laughs> Thanks, Oppo. Not at all. We pass this way but once. We don't. <laughs> I've got another six of these outside on the wagon. I beg your pardon? Oh, now, don't panic. They're not for this branch. You know you're in pretty condition, aren't you? I know your trouble. Too much bevy. Bevy? <laughs> Booze. <laughs> or is it too many late nights, eh? Hey? Well, I must confess that it was... It was after 11 last night. There I was, still playing. Pontuna solo. Cello. <laughs> A new fugue I'm attempting to master. Ah, very nice. I'm the same myself. Oh, really? A fellow Barkerphile, perhaps. Ah, I shouldn't be surprised. Look, can you sign for this account yet? Oh, well, I don't know if I ought to go. Well, yes, of course I can. After all, I am the new assistant manager. Congratulations. Put your name on the dotted there. Right, that's me for the off. Finish them. Lovely. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Les Swingles. <laughs> Leonard Swindley. D-L-E-Y. Oh, I remember you. Good luck, then. Uh, Oppo, uh, uh, Mr... Um, <laughs> one moment. What now? What's this? For you. What for? Gratuity. <laughs> you are flipping new here, aren't you? <laughs> oh, good morning. Uh, uh, the bus didn't stop, you see. I, I held my hand out, but I don't think he saw me. But the conductor did, because <laughs> he whistled. So I started running, and then another bus came, and then my heels came off, and... Uh, I'm always late. May I suggest you punch your card, or you'll be even later, won't you? I can't. The handle's stuck. Oh, allow me, Miss... Uh, Foster. Foster, yes. You run along to your counter. Oh, thank you, sir. Mm. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. The, um, I wonder if you could tell me where the maintenance man is at the location. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> It gets these moods on it. <laughs> it's like my egg. It never works unless it's well oiled. <laughs> Very droll. Uh, oh dear. <laughs> Are you the new assistant manager? 
Yes, I do have that honour. Yes, Swindley L. Whom have I the pleasure of addressing myself to? Edgley, Mrs. Canteen Manageress. <laughs> hey, you should be clocking in here, you know. Not if you're managerial. Well, no, I wasn't. Uh, well, that's as I was, but uh, on the other hand, I, I wasn't, if you should follow my gist. <laughs> Are you digestive? I beg your pardon? With your morning coffee. You see, Mr. Parbold's ginger snaps. Now, you look a bit digestive to me. <laughs> Well, yes, I must admit a certain weakness for the whole meal. As a matter of fact, I, uh, I'm what one might term a secret dunker. Oh. If you'll pardon the expression. <laughs> I can always tell. Shall I show you to your office? Well, I think perhaps I ought to first present myself to Mr. Parbold. The demands of protocol, you understand? Oh, it won't be here for another half hour yet. He never gets in before the store's aired. Oh, well, in that case... We... And I'll make you a nice cup of coffee. With two digestives. Oh, thank you very much, Mrs. Uh, Edgley. Edgley, mm -hmm. yes. Most kind. Oh, this young lady's card. Oh, never mind about that. Miss Sinclair will give her another one. Miss Sinclair? Yes. She's a staff manageress. Oh, yes. <laughs> the way she carries on, you'd think she was the queen. <laughs> I know she's the canteen manageress, Mr. Parbold. But the way she carries on, you'd think she was the queen mother. Spare me the sarcasm, Miss Sinclair. There is only one queen mother. I ought to know. I married her. <laughs> uh, yes, Mr. Parbold. Well, I've made out the week's menus for her. Though I expect they'll turn out to be pure fiction as usual. Last Friday, I specified cheese and onion flan. She served toad in the hole. Well, did you ask her why? I did. I still find it very hard to believe that cheese is out of season. <laughs> <laughs> How is your stomach today? Yeah, well, I'll answer that when I've seen this fellow swindly that they've had foisted on me. Well, I'm sure head office knew what they're doing. Well, it'd be the first time. I mean, where is he? Well, I'm sure I don't know. Exactly, I know the type. They're always late. When they do arrive, they do nothing. The only thing they're good for is sitting on their backsides drinking coffee. Go on, Mr. Swindley. May I? Well, you'll enjoy it. You have a good dunk. <laughs> Oh, delicious. Well, I must say I'm very impressed with all this. An office of one's own. A private sanctum, as it were. Mm, they've tidied it up a bit. Used it as a stockroom since Mr. Thompson left. Mr. Thompson? The last assistant manager. Hmm. Where is he now, I wonder? Bearing the Dobson and Hawks banner aloft. Conquering new woods and pastures fresh. Well, not all that many pastures. It's in Liverpool. <laughs> Promotion indeed. Assistant manager in the great port of Liverpool. Oh, it's not the assistant manager. Manager? Porter. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Parbold recommended him. Yes, perhaps we'd better get on, Mrs. Um... Edgley. Edgley. Mm. Points to bear in mind when talking to Mr. Parbold. Uh, do you really think this is important? Oh, essential. Remember Mr. Thompson? Now then, how far did we get? Oh, Mr. Parbold's stomach. Yes. What? Always inquire as to the state of his stomach, except on the second Friday of every month, following rotary dinner, when, instead of inquiring, sympathise. <laughs> Two, roses. That's right. He's a very keen rose grower. Any particular variety? Uh, yes. I think it's called Floribunda. <laughs> Flore Bunda. <laughs> Three. If you want to get him in a good mood, call him Sir. Address as Sir. Mm. One doesn't have to kneel, I take it. Only if you want to rise. <laughs> I'm only jesting. I'm not. Anything else? Uh, crepe soles. C R E. Circumflex, P, E, so, creep soles? What are they for? Creeping. <laughs> <laughs> he wears them so as we can't hear him coming. It gives him a better chance of catching us. Swindley! <laughs> what are you doing in here? I've been waiting for you in my office. Yes, well, I, I, I came up here. They, they informed me that you, you see, I was under the impression... That, good, good, good morning, sir. <laughs> How are your floribunda? <laughs> A 
didn't tell you, did I? Saturday night. What? Terry and me. We did it. You never. <laughs> we did on the M6. Hundred miles an hour with the hood down. Wasn't it drafty? Oh, not half. <laughs> a week flew off at Preston. I bet it's in the Lake District by now. Here we are, three twelve grey poplin colour attached. Thanks, love. Hey, has no stuff of your street been on to you yet about being late? No, not a word. Mr. Twinley mustn't have reported me. Oh, good for him. You know, it's about time we had somebody decent round here. I'm telling me. I hope he lasts a bit longer than the others. Oh, I think he will. He's a lot. I think he's going to be very popular. Furthermore, your future with this company, if any, depends entirely upon my reports to head office. So the first thing you've got to do is to please me. Yes, Mr. Bobble. Unfortunately, I'm a much more easygoing manager than most. Oh, thank you, sir. I mean, somehow I do seem to be very unlucky with my assistant managers. Oh, I do sympathise. <laughs> it's not that I'm difficult. Man. It's not that I'm a difficult man. I mean, you do, do try and persevere with them. I mean, it's not for the want of trying. Oh, I'm quite sure it isn't, sir. I'm sure you're most trying. Uh, understanding. <laughs> at all times. Well, I, I think we'd better try and forget this morning's disaster. I mean, after all, you have apologised ad nauseum. So we'll start afresh. Now, what do you say? I apologise. Oh. Right, well, then your, your first duty for the company will be to go down to the bank and give them a specimen of your signature. And while you're down there, I'd like you to get some change. Certainly, sir. Uh, there are your handcuffs. And the keys. <laughs> keys? A key for the handcuffs and a key for the bag. Oh, yes, 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 of course. I, uh, <laughs> my first time, actually. I should hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I take it we have no faith in the armoured car. <laughs> Small branch like, th like this, we depend upon loyalty. <laughs> a little old-fashioned, perhaps, but we expect every employee to be ready to face any danger for the common good of the company. Oh, yes, my own feelings entirely, sir. You can rely upon me implicitly. Well, don't worry, nobody can take it off you. No, no, not unless they wrench your arm off with it. <laughs> <laughs> Very comforting. Yes, oh, and, and Swindley, I'd like you back in the office at 11.30 for my Monday morning briefing. Yes, sir. It all sounds very exciting. No, oh, it'll bore you, rigid. <laughs> but it does give me an opportunity to get rid of all this bump that head office keeps sending me. Yeah. Well, go on, off you go, man. Yes, yes, of course. Sorry, I have no idea. You understand? Swindley! That is Miss Sinclair. Miss Sinclair, that is Mr. Swindley. Oh, oh Miss Swindley. Swindley. Tell each other your life stories over tea break. Only do get down to the bank for the change. They'll be waiting for it. Yes, sir. At once. Oh. <laughs> Let me help. Let me help. With help? He seems fairly respectable. How is he settling down? Exactly as expected. Another flaming triumph for head office. Yes, sir. Dobson and Hawkes. Hell Swindley. Oh, very pleased to meet you, Mr. Swindley. But, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I expect we'll be seeing quite a lot of you in the future. Yes, I'll just uh, cast off my chains, as it were. <laughs> <laughs> Anything wrong, sir? No. No, nothing at all. <laughs> well, I don't think we need bother him for his signature. But I thought this was his first day. It is. But I have a funny feeling it's going to be his last. Carpet, sir. <laughs> Wondering what exotic tales it could tell the far off Samarkand. Very few, I should think. The label says genuine Huddersfield. <laughs> yeah. Remarkable craftsmanship. 
Yes, I can recommend the chair as well if you're interested. <coughs> yes, of course. Uh, now, Mr. Swindley, you've been to the bank, have you? The bank? The bank. Have you or haven't you? Yes. Uh, yes, I have been to the bank. I, uh, <coughs> I went to the bank, certainly. I, uh, <laughs> yes, I did go. <laughs> That's quite true. Yes, well, nobody's uh, arguing about it, so long as it's distributed. <laughs> I mean, Otherwise, the whole bag of tricks comes shuddering to a halt. Yes, that's also very true. Yes, sir, Mr. Swindley, I just wanted to inform you, I thought it'd be a good idea if we had a little welcoming chat before the briefing, so if you come to my office at 11.15, there's no point in you hanging about. I mean, you're obviously the type who are never very happy unless your hands are full. <laughs> very observant of you, sir. Uh, my office at 11.15, on the dot. Uh, <clears throat> come in. I'll take your cup if I may, Mr. Swindley. You are finished, aren't you? Just about, I should think, Mrs. Uh, <laughs> are you all right? Hey, you do look pale. He. You haven't. Yes, I'm afraid I have. Now, you sure you had it when you left Mr. Parbold's office? Certain. And you've been through your trouser pockets? In vain. <clears throat> all they revealed was some small silver, a few coppers, my youth hostel badge, and a five-franc piece. <laughs> <laughs> A memento of my visit to the continent. Oh, you've been abroad. Fortnight in Paris. No, a day trip to Bologna. <laughs> <laughs> now, you sure you've looked everywhere? Everywhere. Right, come on. We'll have a nose round the corridor. Hey, no, second thoughts. You stop here. You keep out of sight. You don't want Mr. Parbold to catch you. Leonard Swindley, fugitive. <laughs> well, come on, did you get the change from Mr. Swindley? Oh, yes, he gave it me out of his trouser pocket. Well, come on, then, give it over. Is that all you've got? That's all he had. Well, I thought he'd just been to the bank. Oh, yes, he has, but he didn't get any change. He's lost the key from the bag. Oh, poor soul. Does father know? No, and he's not got to. He's my friend, Mr. Swindley. He needs someone to look after him. He's only little. Right then. Operation SOS. Save our Swindley. <laughs> now then, you nip up to the lockers and get as much loose change as you can from our handbags. If you girls ever get tired of chatting, just let me know. I'll get a record player installed and we'll all have a wee dance. <laughs> please, may I leave the floor, Miss Sinclair? Again? Yes, please. Very well. But if you find you have a few moments to spare later on in the day, perhaps you'll care to do a bit of serving. Yes, Miss Sinclair. Miss Jackson, are you all right for change on this counter? Yes, Miss Sinclair. Plenty, thank you. They seem very short of it everywhere else. Would you change this pound note for uh, footwear? Certainly, Miss Sinclair. <laughs> Miss Plummer. Yes, Miss Sinclair. Tell me, do I look like a cigarette girl from the Folie Bergère? No, Miss Sinclair. <laughs> then why exactly did you give me a five franc piece? <laughs> Secondly, to thank you for your kindness and forbearance. Yeah. And thirdly, to tender my resignation. <laughs> <laughs> yes, come in. Well, oh, Mr. Swindley, I know all about it. There's very few secrets I don't. You know? There's always one girl in every store that you can manage to brainwash. Do you not think you should tell Mr. Parbold? Miss Sinclair, what do you think would be the outcome if I were to throw myself on his mercy. Well, bearing in mind that it's your first day... Yes. ...and that you've hardly had time to settle down... True. ...and that the whole thing was a pure accident... Quite. ...I should think he'd recommend your instant dismissal. <laughs> Just as I feared. <laughs> Miss Sinclair, the sands of time are running out. In ten minutes, the three of us will be face to face. <coughs> three of us? Mr. Parbold, myself, and the case for the prosecution. <laughs> well, I sincerely hope you find him in a good mood. 
It's a sobering thought that my future depends on the whim of a Rotarian stomach. <laughs> uh, how is it feeling today, Mr. Parbo? Oh, the same as ever. Put your tray down. I don't want to keep you when you're busy. Well, would it fancy a nice bit of grilled place for its lunch? Do you think? Grilled place? But it's Monday. Monday's soggy omelette day. <laughs> well, as a rule, yes, but I mean, well, I thought I might tempt you. Look, Mrs. Edgley, I've had to put up with you for a good many years. Ah, 14 come this next Whit Monday. Ah, uh, well, you should know by now that I never indulge in grilled place, except when I'm stock-taking or when the gods descend upon me from head office. Well, shall I send out for a bit of chicken for you? Have you burnt down the canteen? <laughs> no, Mr. Parbo. Well, what are you doing trying to get round me, then? Mr. Parbo. Well, stop wasting my time. Put your tray down. I don't like to keep people hanging about when they should be busy. Mm -hmm. Yes, Mr. Parbo. Oh, have you found it yet, Mr. Swinney? He'd hardly have it chained to him if he had. Well, I've done my bit. I've had a good nose round everywhere. Mm, well, you get plenty of practice, Mrs. Edgley. <laughs> no, 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 ladies, ladies, please. Please. Zero hour is approaching. Let us not waste time on trivia. Rather, let us gird our loins. If you to pardon the expression. <laughs> Good luck, Mr. Swindley. All the best, love. Hi. The key. It is. <laughs> it is. Lodged in the lining. You must have a hole in your pocket. Remind me to mend it for you, love. Well, hurry along to the bank, then. Oh, yes. Oh, uh, don't you worry about him. I'll think of something. Well, what is it? What do you want? I, I said come in. Uh, it wasn't me who knocked, Mr. Parbold. I just happened to be passing on my way to the stock room. I believe Mrs. Edgley wanted a word with you. Well? Uh, I was thinking. What? Uh, how would it fancy a nice piece of boiled cob? And ten of cob. Yes, thank you very much. <coughs> Settling in all right, are you? Yes, of course. Cool. Think you're going to like it? I wonder if you could tell me the correct time. I make it 11.10. Oh, that's not right. Oh, thank goodness. You're slow. I beg your pardon. <laughs> it's uh, 12 and a half minutes past exactly. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Come in. Uh, Mr. Parbold, I, uh, I was wondering. Uh, not now. I've got a session with Swindley any minute. <laughs> Fifteen seconds, to be precise. Yes, well, uh, this is a matter concerning the holiday roster. It is important. Now, I've been checking through July. Look, we haven't, uh, we haven't time now. He knows better than to be late. Uh, yes. Well, if we could just possibly take on a few extra part-timers in the middle two weeks, it is important. At least, I think he does. Well, it is possible that he may have been delayed. Such things are possible. I mean, it has been known that... Come in! Oh, well done, Swindley. Dead on time, I think, sir. Well, I'll leave you two gentlemen to your deliberations. So what about the holiday roster? Oh, that! Oh, there's no hurry. It's not important. Oh. Oh. The case, sir. And the keys. You're on the desk. Feeling the pace a bit, eh? Now, look here, Swindley, there's something I've got to say to you. Yes, sir. Something that I should have said before. Now, you think I've overlooked it, don't you? Well, I was rather hoping that you... No, not really, sir. Well, you realise that I wouldn't be doing my duty to the company if I did. Yes, sir. Oh, well, it's got to be done. It's no use beating about the bush. May as well get on with it. I'm ready, sir. <laughs> Welcome to Dobson and Hawks. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs>